Millennial decorator is having a drop today. Thank you. I typically do my own nails. Good morning. I'm getting ready to go to Miu Miu. I have an appointment at 1 p.m. or between 1 and 2. We want to go get breakfast first. I think we're going to go to Bavette as long as the wait isn't crazy. It's my first time going and they don't take reservations. So we're going to try our hand and where's my mirror before I botch this? But yeah, I'm going to Miu Miu today to get my ballerina flats finally. I don't know if I put it in the vlog. Um, don't mind. I'm like have a bunch of folded laundry over there. I don't know if I mentioned it in my birthday vlog, but we actually went to the Miu Miu in LA and they didn't have my size. Actually, I'm lying. We went to the Chanel in LA to get a pair of shoes. I wanted a pair of ballet flats. They didn't have my size in the ones that I wanted. And so we were gonna go to Miu Miu, but I was like, you know what? I'd rather just wait till I go to New York. So yeah, we made an appointment a few days ago and we're gonna go to the one in Soho. The sales associate that we were paired with already pulled out my size. So I'm just gonna try them on, make sure I love them, which I don't really have any doubt that I won't love them, but can never be too sure, right? So yeah, we're gonna go to Bavette, get breakfast, and then go to Miu Miu. After that, I wanna pop into Sandy Liang. I haven't yet been to her store, and I've been eyeing the Flower Power, I believe it's called, scrunchie, and I've wanted it, I've sat with this since the summer. So when all the Sandy Liang hype was going on this past spring and summer, I was like, okay, I wanna wait for the hype to die down to make sure that I really loved it and that I wasn't being influenced. And so I've been sitting with this for a few months now. There's also a dress, yeah, there's a dress that I'm interested in also, but I want to say the price tag is maybe $800 and I don't need to spend that right now. Like, as in, I don't have an urgency for this dress. I don't have a purpose. I don't have a purpose for this dress to be spending $800 on it right now. I can put that money to better use or I can just save, you know? Hopefully they have the scrunchie. I don't know if you could check the stock on her website. You can do it on Miu Miu's website, which I love. I love when retailers do that. Like you can check for your size in any store, in any city. I don't feel like it's universal yet. Like not every retailer does that. Also, I like to go in store, especially when a brand only has one or two stores or boutiques. I do like to go to the store to have that in-person experience and touch the garments or touch the pieces that I'm interested in, see it in person, because things do have a tendency to look very different online than it does in person. Speaking of, I got this, it's like a balaclava scarf situation from Paloma Wool. I've been on a Paloma Wool way for some time now. I got the bag that I had my eye on since my birthday and I bought two of the balaclavas. It's called Cuckoo, that's the name of it, but I got it in a cerulean blue. It does not look that way on the website, but it's gorgeous in person. I'm really glad I went with the blue and I got it in gray. I originally wanted the gray, but it was sold out. So I got the blue and then put on the notification for the gray. And sure enough, like three days after I bought the blue one, the gray one came back in stock. So I ordered that, that should be here tomorrow i believe so yeah excited to do that my mom is here staying with us in brooklyn she came yesterday was christmas so she came yesterday we cooked a full spread a full christmas dinner we did a whole chicken with stuffing mac and cheese candied yams and green beans it was incredible so good i want to put a move on it because i think it's like 10 20 and i don't want to push it i want us to get a table at this place so that we can make our appointment in time at Miu Miu. and yeah 
gonna bring you guys along. I think we might even go to the MoMA today. It's been a while, it's been years since I've been to MoMA. Maybe 2019, no, 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 no. Definitely post COVID, but it's it's been a while. It's been some years and the MoMA is one of my favorite museums in New York. I believe they have an exhibition with Grace Will Bonner and I'm really excited to see that. There's a few other things I'm interested in seeing as well. So yeah, we're gonna get out of here. There's a little gloomy out. I wish the sun was out right now, but I'm heading back to LA in a few weeks in two weeks to be exact and i'm so excited to get back home and be back in the sun i miss it i need i need some vitamin d in my life yeah let's get out of here I sort of put my, oh, almost fell. I sort of put my foot in my mouth when I said, oh, we're gonna go to Mew Mew and I'm gonna get my flats and I love them. I don't even have to think about it, of course. Why wouldn't I love them? I hated them. Not hated them, but I wasn't crazy about them. I tried on the leather, the leather ballerina flats and I don't know, I, I originally wanted the satin, but the sales associate basically was like, yeah, they're not that great a quality, essentially. I'll meet you in there. So I was like, yeah, for the price tag, they're like, they're pretty expensive. So I said, okay, I'm not even gonna bother trying on the satin. And I wasn't crazy about the leather. The leather was just incredibly too shiny. I have a thing where I prefer my leather to be a bit more broken in and the luster on these kept kind of turning me off then they do run kind of narrow and i do have kind of i wouldn't say i have a wide foot but my right foot is larger than my left foot a bit and yeah i couldn't justify the price tag and spending that if i'm not crazy about something that i don't do when i was younger i used to do it all the time and then things would just sit in my closet so i don't do that anymore i shop responsibly so now we are at a camera store i'm gonna go in there I don't know if you can see it behind me. Gonna go in there and then walk down to Sandy Liang. I saw a TikTok video saying that Chanel in Saks and Bergdorf and a few other department stores that carry them is having a sale today. It starts today. I don't know, I don't remember when it ends, but I'd rather get there the first day of the sale and see what they have. We did walk over to the Chanel store, but it was a line and I didn't wanna wait in that. But before we head over to the MoMA, I think we're gonna head over to Saks or Bergdorf first. And yeah, I'm not really bummed at all. Like I know I'll get my flats, flats that I love. I'd love to find the Chanel flats. It may be red, black, or navy blue or a forest green. Those are the colors that I'm eyeing. Or even maybe a brown. But we'll see what I find, if I find anything. If not, I'll probably just get this coat that's been on my wish list for a bit from the Frankie shop. So yeah, let me head in here and then head over to Sandy Lee. So this is the one. This is what you want? Yeah.
<laughs> Was that your favorite? Guys, so I did a thing. I got a red mani. Now, I never do red nails. This is probably the second time in my life that I've done red nails. And the last time I did them, I had to be maybe 18 or 19 years old. I was one of those people that never liked red anything. Like red nails, the color red. Like I just didn't like to wear it and i don't know it felt very number one we all know red is what's trending right now but it also felt very festive and like holiday-ish so yeah i was like let me just give it a go i did it myself like i usually do fyi if this is the first video you're seeing of me hi but i i typically do my own nails whether it's a standard Manny or Gel X. And yeah, I don't know how I feel about them. I don't know. I don't know if it's because maybe I'm not used to doing red that it feels kind of weird. I don't know that I'm gonna keep them on. We'll see, today is, what's today? Today's Tuesday, so we'll see. I have plans Thursday and Friday. I think I might keep it on for Thursday's plans, but we'll see what they're looking like by Friday. But anywho, it's freezing outside. It's about 42, 44 degrees today. It warmed up over the weekend because a rainstorm swept through. But now that it's over and done with, we're back to the freezing cold. And I have a number of errands to run. I've gotta go to Staples, gotta go to the post office, and then I'm gonna go work from a cafe. Get some work done. I'd like to get as much work out of the way before the weekend commences. So I'm gonna get to it and we're gonna get the day started. Okay, I... I'm on my way to the cafe, but Millennial Decorator is having a drop today. So I had to pull over to get on the website when the drop happens. Why does it still say password? There we go. Shop. Ugh. I'm trying to see what they have in my size. Can you filter by size? Size, yes, 39. Oh, those are brown, I don't want that. Oh, pulled over for nothing. I don't want to say for nothing. I kind of saw what they were going to release, but I saw that she said they were going to have more things on the website that they didn't post on Instagram, but mm, nothing to my liking. Okay. Well, on our way we go. Due to disruptive and he said a few years ago, a Trump administration. So I'm walking over to land to sea, and it is freezing. Freezing, freezing. I want to say it's about 42 degrees. I'm power walking, I'm trying to get there as quick as possible. I am walking home from hide and seek. It's not as cold. I mean, it's cold, but I guess the wind isn't blowing, so it's not as bad. But yeah, heading home to drop off Naomi and then gonna head to happy hour at Casa Publica. They have $10 tacos and margaritas, so I could definitely go, not necessarily for a bar, but I love their chicken tacos. I'm gonna go over there, get some dinner, go back home, and then edit until I fall asleep.
I like how lemony it is.